Hey guys, today we are going to talk about random cards that are incredibly pricey. And before we begin, I think we've full we've become a MTG finance channel, which I knew would be the final evolution because that's what we do and that's what I like doing. So I will be upfront with you. I love MTG finance. I love buying and speculating. It's a lot of fun. I don't take it to make money. I have a wonderful job where I am my own boss and I have amazing employees. I have two graphic designers. I have, I'm looking for a photographer. Um, Isabel, who was a photographer, is no longer with us. So a lot of you asked, where's Isabel? Well, Isabel is no longer with the company. Therefore, it doesn't make her sense for her to keep producing videos because essentially we're looking for a new photographer. We have a social media specialist, a content writer, two developers, and me. What else do we have? We have a salesperson and no, actually not two developers. Let's say two and a half developers. We have like a developer in training. So yeah, my LinkedIn is pretty much on fire. I think over 130,000 people view my profile every 90 days, which comes out to uh, 15,000 people 15,000 unique people viewing my profile every day for the next 90 days. Pretty insane, right? But anyway, we, I decided to do MTG Finance because that's what I enjoy doing. I don't enjoy some of the people in MTG Finance because I feel like their advice is, they're, if you're getting paid to, or you you are behind a paywall, and or you are trying to get people to buy a subscription into your paywall, your incentives are a little bit different from me. I don't really care. It's interesting that the Scarab God is $55 as a promo, but I don't have any Scarab Gods to sell you. I don't sell cards. I don't trade cards. I only buy them. And you might be like, hmm, why should I listen to you? It's because I still have bias, but my bias is, I, well, I'll blanket tell you the Scarab God cannot hold $40. The Scarab God is the voice of resurgence in a very, very weak set. Our devastation is incredibly weak. I would not buy boxes of this. I would not take my prize support in this. This is a terrible, terrible in terms of value, again, I'm only speaking in value, so if you guys like the lore and the stuff, this is not really the video for you. Maybe you should go to another channel, but today and forever in this channel, I'm gonna speak in terms of value. It's Scarab God or bust. And yes, I know he's good in EDH. Yes, I know he is very good in standard at the moment, but it cannot hold its price. It cannot hold its price. I almost am certain of that fact. I would say 99% certain that he is. this is not a $40 card long term, even with the EDAs. So back to my um, bias, non-bias. Um, when Okay, so Sophie is our social media person. She got sick recently. I was like, take a sick day, and then she still comes to work. And I love the team. I do this as a hobby i don't my patrons more people cancel more people give me quote fake money on patreon than actually pay on patreon patreon is such a i like the two people on it because they're very nice people but for the most part it's whatever right it's not i don't it's not something that i asked you for a dollar hey can i have a dollar I would not do that, nor would I ask you to pay $60,000 for my website. My website actually is up, but the content is trash because we have been in the hiring mode for a photographer and it's just been a headache. Also, by the way, Snapcaster is on the move. This is probably the only chance you can get him for under $50. You can still get him on eBay for under $50 on TCG Player. I don't see him being at that price for much longer. All right, back to my rant, because I think it's good to give you perspective. Um, I didn't ask you to pay for my app. You know, I would 
pay for that myself. Maybe I will have an MTG line app, but I can fund it myself, which is the way to do it. Because if you put your own money in it, you are more likely to do a good job than if you just get micro funding. Uh, micro funding is, you know, it's popular, it's trendy, but a lot of Kickstarters never launched. I've been part of that when I paid for a drone and the drone was a, you know, a pocket sized drone, looked really awesome and never got delivered. The guy just spent the money. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I expected that. It was 50-50 that the guy would just spend the money and then the money was gone. The same with uh, Pico Trade, right? All these people saying Pico Trade is the best thing. I mean, they don't, some of them have deleted videos, some of them have recanted, and some of them have said that the model is wrong. I mean, the model, you can watch that video. The dude legit is, they ask a question, and this is the most important question. At the end of the interview, somebody in the audience asks, is, is 100 Pico points always going to be a dollar? The dude, Eric, instantly said, yep. Well, what the blank, Eric? That, you know that's not true. Everyone sponsoring you knows that's not true, right? Because you're giving free points and you made $5 million. Where do these, all these points come from? Eventually, it will fail. And, you know, people talk about MTG Finance as if you can make a living from it. Maybe if you're the top 0.01%, you can. But if you were skilled enough to make a living from MTG Finance... I guarantee you, you have a job on Wall Street that pays you 10, 20 times more because it is very hard. The margins are, you buy a card for two, Filer goes up to 14, maybe you buy this for six or seven. But how long did you have to wait? You had to wait a long time, a long time. And how many copies do you have? And how easy is it? Some buy lists are they're not going to take infinite amounts of a file layer. They're going to limit you. And now you have to go to another buy list that might not pay you six or seven. Maybe they pay you four. And at that point, you just spent the last four or five years buying a card for two, selling it for four. What were you living off the entire other time? Like other specs that worked out well? Anyways... I'm going to just rant a little bit more. I, again, I told you Dino Chan, Dio Chan will go up in price. Yeah, I knew that, right? Because I wanted to buy all of her. I think in the past video, someone find a video, I was talking about how Dio Chan is so awesome and how it's really cheap and someone should buy the foil ones because they're awesome. And then someone did. Someone who also likes narwhals. Like... Here's, a, here's the reason that I would probably classify myself as different. No one is paying me. Card Kingdom is not paying me. TCG Player is not paying me. Even my patrons are not paying me. I'm, I mean, I have two patrons, Jeremy and another dude, and that's it. We've got, we have a combination of two patrons. And I don't have any incentive to tell you something that, you know, hey, buy this card in TCG Player. Buy this card at Card Kingdom. Because... Okay, a lot of people ask me to do sponsorships. Um, I will blanket tell you, Card Spear, a lot of you want to talk about Card Spear, has approached me. They wrote a very lovely email and they seem like good guys and they wanted me to make a video and they said, hey, your video is your opinion, we'll give you a hundred bucks. I said, okay, but a hundred dollars to me might seem like a lot of money, but it's not. I'm a full stack developer. I own my own agency. I'm also a patent attorney on the, so if I were to do a side hustle, my side hustle would be to do patents, which pay me four to 5,000 a patent, which I'm very good at. I would not make a video for a hundred dollars. So most people, and this is just what's going to happen. Most people, if they wanted to make a card spare video and outlining good or bad, and the way they wrote it told me that I could write a really, really aggressive video on them if I didn't like them and they would still give me the hundred dollars right I wouldn't do it because it's not worth my time and then you might ask why do I do this because I like enjoy it it's a hobby trust me YouTubing for magic gathering is really not a good use of my time um, 
But I love it and I enjoy you guys. And that's why, I mean, if you want to understand why we became an MTG Finance channel, it was because you wanted it. I fought it. I fought it. If you guys can remember in the olden days, we were going to become an anime channel. <laughs> you guys really didn't like that. And I'm still trying to push Fire Emblem, by the way. And, I, you know, I'm trying to get you guys into it. Because Fire Emblem, like, if I had to pick what I'm interested in, Fire Emblem would be one, and then MTG Finance would be two. But I know you guys love MTG Finance. I know there's a bunch of you. And why not produce the content that you guys like? And then sometimes produce the Fire Emblem content for me. To document all the... So when I watch these old videos of Fire Emblem, I say, Oh my gosh, this is really terrible. Why do I keep playing this game? Because they F me every time. So obviously I'm interested. I'm... So I guarantee you they know I'm a male. Because they keep giving me the male character when I'm trying to go for the female characters. And it's just like, what this... It's like, it's like you open a booster pack and you want a Falia. And instead of giving you Falia, they give you like Sorin. And be, most people are like, oh, Sorin's good. And you're like, hmm, no. But you couldn't trade your Sorin for a Falia because that's not how the gacha game works. You have to keep your Sorin. So now you've piled a bunch of characters that people really like, but you don't like them because, you know, they're not what you want. And anyway, that's a gotcha game. I'm not going to go into more detail. Yeah, that's a pretty big rant. I I lo love MTG Finance, but I'm not a fan of the community. I've never been part of the community. I never wanted to be part of the community. And I never liked the people in the community. Because when you have something to sell, that's a little different, right? That's a little different. And when you want to promote... So... Okay, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make this video any longer, but you guys are smart. You know when Pika Trade asks for sixty thousand dollars for a website when they're making five million dollars, that makes no sense. Right? That makes no sense. You know when someone asks for money to make a mobile app for XYZ on Reddit. What? They're microfunding a app? Okay, and that sounds like a good idea if the people who gave the money also own a percentage of the initial profit. So if so that's the same with PicoTrade. You don't you have to remember PicoTrade, that website wasn't the first time they won asked for money. They have asked for money at least two times and they've got more than they wanted and they not did not deliver it, but they took $5 million into their own pockets. And they were beloved. You couldn't attack Pico Trade at all. But now Tolarian has turned on it. Mana Source has turned on it. To my knowledge, there's only one big YouTuber who has not. Uh, he was still making videos when everyone was denouncing it. And, you know, that's pretty insane, right? But hey, Pico Points are Pico Points. Anyway, that's it. Brant over...